some military historians still think that the rifle of the 19th century of the Napoleon was an inaccurate arm. It was just a bit better than the smoothbore musket and the average rifleman was not able to hit a man-sized target above 100 meters. And on the other hand, some think that uh, they were able to hit a head-sized target at 300 meters. Well, I want to talk about an average rifleman with the average military style and hunting style loading method was able to hit a man-sized target at 200 meters or not. Let's come with me and shoot this beauty to 200 meters. So. This is my Peder Soli Flintlock Jäger rifle in 54 caliber, an excellent rifle for target shooting and hunting. Most of my best hunting memories are connected to this beauty. The sights on my rifle are prepared for hunting, so the notch on the rear sight is quite large and the front sight is painted white to have a clear picture while targeting the game. Not the best setup for long range, but the military flintlock rifles also lack the precise target sights. When hunting I use a 320 grain Lee real bullet, but to be historically accurate, today I shot a 535 lead round ball backed with 100 grains of 2 F Swiss powder. I decided to replicate the Jaeger loading method, so you won't see any digital scales or long loading funnels in my video. Also my patches are lubricated the traditional way. Their thickness is 0.38mm and they have a real tight fit in the bore. The Austrian riflemen of the Napoleonic era never primed the rifle from the powder of the cartridge, but they used a separate flask to prime the pen. And this is exactly what I did using 4F priming powder. The target at 200 meters or 220 yards seemed very small in the sights. My rear sight is not adjustable, so I needed 3 or 4 shots to find the right elevation for the bore. My first two shots were clear misses, but finally I found the right height of aim. Fifty centimeter above the target, that's where I had to put my sights on. Let's see what we have. My bullets were leaving the board with 600 meters per second, but the round ball is not the best ballistic form, so the trajectory was quite curved. Still, the rifle proved to be accurate even at this distance. That's the military style 200 meters shot from the rest. Uh, these were my first shots, and I just realized that, that you have to hold the flintlock rifle stronger than a usual percussion rifle to have it shoot straight, but otherwise. The, all the rest of the shoots are within the black area. This is, this is something like the, the area of the chest. But if, uh, if I want to be more conservative, I can say that yes, it is possible to hit the head, the head size target at 200 meters. I had to aim somewhere here, about half a meter, about half a, half a meter above the target. So definitely you will need a leaf rear sight that is adjustable for different distances. Uh, the rifle can be accurate with the open sights and with the flintlock ignition. Just to show you how far 200 meter is. That's where the cars are. That's 200. Absolutely not an open sight distance. So ladies and gentlemen, never stand in front of the flintlock rifle 100 meters. <laughs> 